it's New York media. We yeah. got to think about that, man. They, yeah. they want that quarterback. Uh, who, right. Who's right. going over there? Is Woody Allen? What, what, I just, Woody I, Woody something. <laughs> Woody Allen's <laughs> actor. <laughs> but yeah, cut that, man. <laughs> I might leave that one there. Oh, no. Woody Johnson. <laughs> start the start <laughs> video. <laughs> That's it right there. Start the video. <laughs> CasPotatoGM.com is the website. Cast Potato General Manager is the YouTube channel. You know that because you're on it. Go ahead and hit subscribe, like, and then leave us a comment, man. That's what we want to interact. We want to discuss. We want to talk, man. We talking. Who we talking right now, man? The New York Jets. Hmm? The New York J-E-T-S-S. No. Nah, last year I disrespected those guys. <laughs> um, J-E-T. I left off the SSS um, because I thought it was going to be a train wreck. I thought it was going to be terrible, man. And Todd Bowles came back. He got that, that, that Jamal, they competed. Jamal Adams, they, got that Marcus May. They competed last year. Yeah. They weren't good, but they competed every week. They, they, were, they, were, they were battling. And, you, and they, were just, they were just a void of talent in, in areas, you know, in terms of, you know, running back. I'm not, you know, I don't want to pick on um, the retiree. Who was it? Matt Forte. Forte. And you can't run around with the likes of Roby Anderson. No, no, uh, no disrespect, but didn't really have a number one or a wide receiver out there. They, 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 they acquitted themselves well, but it was usually, but it was usually it, when they were in shootouts trying to catch up, things yeah. of that nature. There may have been some puffery with their yeah, statistics. Kyle was hitting them up. Yeah. Man. Concussion case. Yeah. It's the concussion. Speaking of Josh McCown, yeah. um, there's a lot of quarterbacks in New York. Um, Teddy Bridgewater is now there. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, McCown re-signed. It's basically having a, a coach on the field. Because they just drafted Mr. Sam Darnold, the USC. Savior? Is he a mister? I, How old is he? I don't he's think like, he's a missus. No, 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 no. I wasn't going there with it. I wasn't going there with it. He's young. I was saying he's a young guy. Yeah, he's a young man. guy. A, another USC quarterback. We know the last time the Jets drafted a first round quarterback out of USC. Butt fumble. Butt fumble himself. Oh, man. So hopefully this guy has Daddy Sanchez, bro. more yeah. success than Sanchez. Um, what they did before the draft, they traded up with the Indianapolis Colts. Um, got the number three pick. Let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, let's talk, let's about, talk about that a little yeah. bit. Because in the offseason, re-signing McCall and bringing in Teddy, Teddy. Um, you know, a, a, a quote-unquote flyer deal. We like Teddy. We yes. like what Teddy can bring to the Teddy. table. Um, it, it, it seemed to me that the organization from the front office, coaching staff, they were heading in that, okay, let's go the veteran route. You know what I mean? Maybe we'll add a de developmental guy, whatever the case may be. And it almost seemed as if ownership came down and said, no, 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 go yeah. get me a quarterback. Um, yeah, it's New York media, and they, of course the owner wants his quarterback, Sam Darnold. Like you said, let's talk about it. They, they traded up to number three. Mm -hmm. that was like a, it was a blind trade. They didn't know who would be available at number three. It could have been the third best quarterback. And in their eyes, they got the guy that their number one quarterback is Sam Darnold. They, I mean, that's they, what they. That's what they, they didn't say. think he would be there. They, they didn't think they because Baker Mayfield wasn't supposed to get selected number one according to all the pundits out there, mm -hmm. and, and of mm -hmm. course Browns did did what they did. Whoever the Jets drafted at quarterback at three was their number one guy. That's what I believe. Right. Not, that's what that's what I truly believe because when I watch Sam Darnold, I think people put a lot of stock into his makeup, and don't get me wrong, intangibles are important. Mm -hmm. Leadership. Grit, um, the ability to, to make something happen, create when nothing is there. That's that's fantastic. Play to play consistency, I do not see it. And a lot of he receives a lot of credit. I know everybody harkens back to the Rose Bowl game against Penn State. That was great football to watch. Okay? But I never saw a guy that good again. I never saw that guy again during his, his red shirt sophomore season. I never saw that guy again. And the thing about it is, in my opinion, where he gets the accolades of bringing his team back and winning close games. To me, it's his play through the first three and a half quarters that puts USC, who yeah. typically mm -hmm. is a more talented football team than their opponent, yep. in those positions in the first place. Yep. So I'm not, I think there's bust potential with Darnold. And, and you can say that about any quarterback. In his case in particular, I, and, and you could probably you could probably extend that to maybe Josh Allen because of, you know, level of competition and how we played against when we played against better competition, this, that, and the other. But when I watch Darnold and I see the amount of RPOs and easy throws in, in that system, yet all the turnovers and, and, and the mistakes, the fumbles and stuff, that concerns me. That, that That's a red light for me. And again, 
there's some natural playmaking ability that, that people get excited about and, and that you like, but that's a cherry on top. I need you to be consistent throughout. You know what I mean? And I need you to avoid putting the team in bad positions. And it's not just a matter of, of he's trying to make a play. No, it's just bad decisions. Yeah. It's just bad decisions. That concerns me. I think you're going to have to get him into an offense where he, he has no choice, but it's got to be timing. Everything's got to be timing and, and, all, and get it out. Maybe a quick quick throw offense. Like, who's their offense corner? Then they, 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 they got something new going on there. So, come to Jeremy 20. Bates, man. Jeremy Bates? Yeah, yeah so they, they, they rave about Jeremy Bates and, and the fit with Sam Darnold, man. They think they could. Uh, maybe maybe that's what it is. He, and, 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 and to that point, maybe maybe he's still a very young player with, with skills. He's got the frame that you want. He has. He has. So, uh, he has good mobility, you know, he can extend plays. There, there are redeeming qualities. Don't get me wrong. There are redeeming qualities about Sam Darnold. I'm just, I just don't think he's nearly as, as close to a sure thing as people are suggesting that, that he is. I don't think he's that close to, that, to being a sure thing. Nah, and he's, he's frustrating to watch because, you know, you, you can see where receivers are open or where he should be getting rid of the football, and he's just holding on to it, trying to make that extra play. I've seen stuff where, you know, like, dude, just throw it away. There's nothing there. You're not, you're not Michael Vick. You don't have the, 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 you know, you're not Patrick Mahomes. You don't have that in you where you could just, you know, do a guy. You know, it's just get rid of the football. You know, it's, it's, it's a thing. He might end up like Josh McCown where he gets hurt because he's trying to do too much. You know, you so, said you, you mentioned Patrick Mahomes. I actually see a lot of similarities in their games. I mean, I, it, 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 you're right. You're Which getting, is problematic. You're, you're, yes. You're, you're, Which you're is asking, problematic. It, it, the, yeah. only, the only issue is is that... Um, Mahomes has more arm talent. Yes. Yeah. And he can drop it on a dime. Yeah. I, see, with Sam Darnold, I know he's the number three pick. They're going to try to get him on the field as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. New York media, they're going to be the checking The pressure is going to be there. The yeah. pressure is there, but... I don't think this guy should start year one. I think he needs to develop more. Um, he has issues with his mechanics. Best case scenario, his throwing right? Throwing motion. Yes. It's a uh, a capacity up. for turnovers. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it could go really bad. Mm -hmm. And it is bust potential there for Sam Darnold. Um, but at the same time, man, if he could sit a year in that offense with Jeremy Bates, maybe he's their future quarterback, man. So, cause what, what, what is it that you like about Sam Darnold in particular? Well, Sam Darnold, uh, he makes big plays in big moments. You know, he yeah. does get them into those moments where he has to come back <laughs> all the time. Right. You see it. But, you know, just his, his makeup is he he, he's calm, under pressure, and he yeah. makes big plays in big moments, man. And, you know, that's that's his strength. You know, you want that quarterback to be even keel. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to I, I, I would agree with that. He, yeah. He's a cool customer. He, 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 cool is a, he doesn't get too high or too low. I just, I really do question how much stock is being put into... The, the, the makeup and, 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 and don't, it's important. It's an important quality characteristic to have. It's, but it's, you're already playing with the superior talent, number yeah. one. Yeah. You're, you're letting the opposition, inferior teams hang around all the time and you're turning the ball over yeah, and, too much. and then you, okay, well then, I, there were a lot of throws he made where I thought that the receiver who, is who made the play. Yeah. It wasn't the throw with the decision that he made, it was the receiver who made a play and broke several tackles and you know what I'm saying? So, I, I just felt he got a little too much because he was so much better than all the other quarterback options. I think it kind of buoyed his a little bit. Yeah, that Penn State game really. No, it was that Rose Bowl. He was yeah. he was terrific. Yeah. He was terrific. I and if that if that's the player that you're getting, then you're good to go. I just don't I don't think that's who he really is. Yeah, it was a game. It was a game. Was Ohio State when he really mm -hmm. struggled, man. Mm -hmm. You look at that Ohio State tape. Yeah. It's like. It's right. night and day from from that Penn State tape. So, like I said, I don't think this guy should start right away, but. I think it's a pressure, pressure to be there, and he's going to start uh, earlier than and, and, he and should. Here's my thing with the Jets when you think about him starting. Why? Like, like, why? You got Josh McCown to coach. You got Teddy Bridgewater. Why? Why push him out there? Do you really think that y'all have a shot? In, Ownership. In, 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 uh, uh, okay, but I'm talking just from a fan standpoint. I know you, you want to see your guy you because he was third pick overall. You want to don't push him out there in, into a situation. He is in, in a big market. He did come from a big listen, market. Listen, but, <laughs> but but why do that? There's no. It's not like it's not like you got you you got a, a, a Case Keenum or or, or, a, or a, a lesser guy that's sitting in front of him. It's y'all you, you, didn't lose games last year because of your quarterback. You see what I'm saying? You lost games because you you don't have the weapons. So it's, why put him out there? Even from a fan's perspective, I, I, I understand what you're saying. I agree with you both. I, I think Darnold could benefit from some seasoning. And by seasoning, I mean he needs to hold the clipboard, hold the clipboard yeah. initially. Um, 
I think obviously you have the pressure from the owner. You know what I mean? That, that fans are, and from a fan's perspective, they're starved. The, 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 the New York Jets faithful, they're starved for some really good quarterback play. And this is the new shiny toy that we, we, we mortgaged the farm yeah. to acquire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They gave up a lot of, of, of high draft capital in order to move up those three spots yeah, they in gave the first place. Three second round picks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is a team with a lot of holes. Yeah, that they ultimately of decided, okay, we, we, we're going to go get this guy because we feel the quarterbacks in this class are so much more superior than what's coming down the pike, and we've been starved for so long. It, it, Donald will play sooner rather than later because here's what's going to happen. Unless, unless they truly give Teddy an opportunity, mm-hmm. McCown's going to get hurt, unfortunately. That's just, that's just, that's he, he has a propensity for getting hurt. Yeah. And, and if... And if Whomever decides, no, I want Darnold over Teddy, it's going to be Darnold. I, I think Teddy Bridgewater is the best quarterback on this roster. That's my and 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 you can you can even you can even call Teddy out for his injury concerns. Yeah. But he's the best quarterback on this roster. If you if you're if you're talking about okay, who gives us the best chance to win? I believe it's Teddy Bridgewater. Who's going to fill the seats? Who's going to create generate buzz and excitement in New York? That's Sam Darnold. You, you say you say shiny new toy, right? Yes, yeah. that's what you call it, right? Mm-hmm. Don't don't take the shiny new toy where it says clearly on the box. Don't put it in the tub. Take it and go in the tub with the toy because that's what's about to happen. <laughs> you got other toys in McCown and Bridgewater. Let those toys those toys are all those get, get, are old toys. Up I understand that. Like, I, like I understand. McCown is is carved out of wood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Don't look good. And there's no action. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's a stationary with, with, with Bridgewater. Imagination. No, 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 no imagination. No, you got you got this new you know app mm-hmm. in Darnold to work with. You understand what I'm saying? That's 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 where we're headed. Yeah, we yeah we can't kid or fool ourselves. No. Sam Darnold's gonna be on the field this year. Unfortunately, yeah, it's happening. All right, man. Let's get into the rest of their draft. Uh, they didn't have a second round pick. Uh, third round, they went uh, Nathan Shepard, uh, Fort Hay State. Uh, he made a big. A lot of noise in the senior bowl practices. Uh, got hurt though. He got hurt. Didn't yeah. get a chance to play in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's just his body. He got. He has that body type. He's that big guy. Um, I watched him on tape. He he dominated uh, competition at, at that level. It's just he's raw. He, he raw. does. He he has one move. It's the power move. He's mm-hmm. gonna overpower you. So he needs to get more seasoning under himself. And you know the Jets. They they need help. They, like you said, that they have a lot of holes on that defense. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, actually, defensive line might be one of their strongest positions. It, it's funny that you say that because they, over the last couple of seasons, they've lost Sheldon Richardson, yeah. Muhammad Wilkerson, and it's still probably a, a, a strength in their in, on their team, on their yeah. roster, not just the defense. Yeah. yeah. You can never have too many de- defensive linemen, whether it be tackle or, or end. So, I mean, why not? You know, the less that he, he can sit, he can, you know, he can, he can be a part of the rotation. Yeah, that's it. And, and, and develop. Develop, yeah. like said. Develop, man. Um... They also drafted uh, Chris Herden, uh, that's a tight end from Miami. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> he fits into that that same thing we always say about Miami players, where you know they left a little uh, meat, on, meat on, on the bone. Yeah. So it's like they could be a better NFL players than college players because mm-hmm. of the coaching in Miami. Mm-hmm. Um, so Chris Herden, what do you guys think of him? I mean, they lost ASJ right to the Jacksonville Jaguars, yeah. so you know they need, need another guy. And it's, I mean, they, I'm not gonna say they're in the same mold in terms of build and stuff, but in terms of their play style, yeah. I, I think they're kind of the same type of player in, in that sense. So, I mean, obviously, he's not ASJ, who's a more polished um, player. Um, took him some, some some years to get there. But I, I, I like the pick in terms of they, they've identified the type of tight end that they want. And, and he, he's, he can be explosive, man. He just needs to play more games yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah, he, he was he, he caught himself behind David and, and Joe Kuhn. Mm-hmm. Um, so he had trouble getting on the field uh, initially. Um, he, he offers some things out in terms of run after the catch. You can get the ball to him quickly. He can make plays in the open field. The, the, the thing about, again, we've discussed it before, tight end is just a difficult position to play. You know what I mean? The, the, way, the, way, the way college teams use their tight ends certainly doesn't prepare them for the NFL, and it's already a steep learning curve. Recently, uh, just a few years ago, they drafted Jason Morrow. High. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They bust are great. It, it just happens a lot with that particular position. I think the value... Day three, I, I, I like Herman. I like his upside. Uh, Perry Nickerson, corner, Tulane, a guy you like, Drew. Yeah, man, this guy, he just seems to find a football, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm treading lightly here, very lightly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a tiptoes like a ballerina, man. Listen, 
is, is Ed Reed esh. He just finds the football. What? What, what are you Reed? You're saying? <laughs> Why do you say stuff like that? You see, I said tread lightly. Like, you say stupid things. You said tread lightly, and then you went out there. Yeah, just like that. Well, I was no, talking. But you went that way. No, 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 He's always around the ball, What's man. What's going on, Ed Reed? They ain't all casual. I'm, I'm trying to help them out, man. Not everybody know what ball hawk is. I couldn't think of it. It didn't, it didn't come to me right away. Right. Ed Reed came first. So okay, I got you. But, but is this a corner? corner? A corner? I mean, is there any ball he, hawking? Drew, Drew thinks. Drew, I think Drew he plays safety. Safety. Oh, safety. 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 Yeah, yeah, free safety. safety. He ain't coming up and and, and yeah. laying wood to anybody, anything like that. Got but you, got you. he just finds the football, man. You know. So, so, so what do you do with Marcus May? No, I'm just listen. Jamal Adams. Maybe he plays in the nickel. You can't. Those guys are interchangeable, man. Okay. We, we just, listen, Let's cover the slot. Somebody ain't gonna cover the slot. Just somebody let let, let <laughs> your boy uh, Nickerson just find the football because he's going to find it. The first time I heard about Nickerson was from one of our colleagues, um, uh, fellow draft uh, Knicks draft heads, uh, Jake Shavinik, and he broke him down. He broke him down, and and, I, and from there I kind of looked at some of his film, and I, and I came away impressed too. Okay. He does. He gets his hands on the football. It may not always come down with an INT, but there's a lot of pass breakups. Um, a bit raw, a bit raw, but but Henley, I know you value the ball yeah, skills. Mm -hmm. He he finds the football, and and at the moment of truth, he looks very comfortable. He looks very comfortable, and and to me, that's the name of the game at this juncture. You know what I'm saying? There there are guys who obviously have better measurables, longer arms, better size, speed ratio, whatever the case may be. But at the moment of truth, he he looks good. He looks comfortable. And, and there's times where I, I, I'm looking, and I'm like, he's not gonna make it to this football. If I don't know if it's the angle or. And like you he said, closes it, very well. it, and it, mm -hmm. it, it, it looks so, he just looks comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like it's, like it's me no making, panic, a, me no making panic a bowl of cereal. Game, some no no wasted side, motion. Man. It's just easy. Yep. I don't get it, man. But, hey, man, you guys might have a player there, man. He, if, any, if, if anything, he's going to be a hell of a special teamer. Yep. Sixth round, man. You, you got him to uh, pronounce his name for For Lorenzo Fatukasi. Whoa. This is my guy. This guy's been, yeah, man, we've seen him at the Shrine game. Yeah, we man. were able to watch that live, and, and he just what? took over. Yeah, it was. It he was, took over. Him and Chad Thomas. Yeah. It was, yeah. It, they, they, they just routinely in the backfield, the, the, the jump at the snap was was electric. That, that first step, he, he really made a name for himself. I thought, I thought he, I thought he didn't get the call up to the senior ball. I would have liked to have seen him get the call up yeah. and see how he performed at that level. Yeah. Probably could have made himself some more money. Probably. But, um. He was really impressive. That was my first exposure to him, and, and I thought he looked really good. Watch a little bit more on him, and, and you can see you can see the flashes. You get him in a rotation. He's not going to be an every down player out the gate, but get him in a rotation. He can he can make your football team better. Yeah, man. This is the Jets, man. The draft is you know is not that sexy. Not much big names other than Sam Darnold. There's a lot of players that you, we, we said that you know get him into a rotation. They could be good pros, man. So you know, not a sexy draft for the New York Jets. I, I think as a Jets fan, you gotta. You offensively, you may have to, you know, watch some not so good football. But from a defensive standpoint, I think, you know, the, the pieces are coming together. I mean, you, you, your secondary is starting to come together. The D line obviously is sure. solid. Um, they love their linebackers, most of their linebackers mm -hmm. that they have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so a, as a fan, you know, expectation. You know, I was I was killing them last year. I mean, maybe they'll surprise me again this year. Defensively, I think you're solid, ready to go. Offensively, next year. Free agency, maybe to go out and they make some big time splashes. They, they got to surround them. Darnold. They have to. They have to surround Darnold because again, people talk about his makeup and and Darnold at times showed that he can raise the level of play around him. I just think too much credit was given. I think more often than not, it was the other way around. You're playing with superior talent week in and week out. Those receivers, those backs, Ronald Jones, those guys made Darnold look better. You understand what I'm saying? And, and too often, Darnold's play, bad decisions, turnovers, kept the opposition in the game. The, 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 the silver lining is that Darnold never seems phased by it. He never seems phased by it. He doesn't get down. He doesn't lose confidence. He, he keeps on firing. So it'll be interesting to see. And, and you need some of that in New York. You do need some of that. You need, you need that short memory in, in New York. So we'll see. And listen, if we're wrong, if, if you know, if you got an uh, opinion on Donald, or what's what, complete opposite, like y'all are crazy, he's this, that. Now, let us know, man, because we wanna, we wanna chop it up. We wanna talk, to, talk to you guys. Wanna interact. Wanna discuss. Wanna yeah. debate it, man. That's what we're, we're about here. We're not gonna, you're not gonna throw a comment in there, and we just gonna ignore you like this guy's crazy. Like we wanna, yeah. that's what we wanna do, man. So New York market. What, Question what's, mark. What's their um hashtag? 
Green, green, gang green. Gang green, gang hashtag gang, gang green. If that's it, let us know. I, I'm not sure. I think that's it. That's what I seen on Twitter. I got a list of all the hashtags. Yeah, right well, here, I mean, yeah you need to share that, man. Yeah, yeah, I, just, I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for it. Um, you know, like, like, comment, um, subscribe. subscribe to the channel, man, yeah. and, and listen, bring in other folks, man. We 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 yeah. wanna, we talk all thirty-two right here, man. Don't be selfish, with, with the, with the yeah, man. Don't, Don't be selfish. Don't worry. I'm going